Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Guard up on defense here, back in the video today. This show will be discussing what I think the top five most important PG attributes are in mb 2 k 24 as well as the best height. But before getting into that, if you're new to the channel, that's sub on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Make sure like and comment as well, and yeah, let's get right into this. So, in my personal opinion, I think 6'4 is the best height. I know there's a lot of 6'2 and 6'3s out there. But the reason you go 6'4, even though you do get less attributes, is because you're able to get contested a lot less on a 6'4 when you're shooting. And that goes right into my first attribute, three-point shot. Probably the most important one. Obviously, it's hard to really pick the most important one because a lot of the top five are really important. So I guess they're interchangeable. But if you don't have a three-point shot high in a PG, it's pretty tough in this game. And that's probably why I would recommend it being as high as it is. Probably 92, 94, somewhere in that range. Obviously, you have a different play, so you don't have to. This is just kind of like a meta sort of five attributes. Next, they have ball handle. You don't need 95. Like all, You don't need these to be as high as I have them. This is just kind of an example just showing you guys because these are... Gonna be the most important ones. Next, I got speed with ball at number three. Uh, reason being a Kyrie dribble style, along with some other stuff. You don't need to go exactly to 90, like I said, but speed with ball and a point guard is really important. Next, I combine speed and acceleration because you can't really pick one of the uh, one over the other. Because if you're trying to get speed boost, you can either have speed or excel. It just depends if you want to be able to move faster with the ball or move faster on defense with speed. I know everyone has this, their own theories on what actually makes you run faster: speed with ball, excel, speed, and all this different stuff. But if you aren't really sure and you've seen a ton of videos, people are trying to prove you, just figure it out for yourself. Make builds in the uh, for Blacktop and just go test out with builds with high excel, speed with ball, speed, and test stuff for yourself. Because the only person you can really trust is yourself. Obviously, there's videos out there people that do trust certain players. Lastly, you have stamina. Reason being, you got to be able to get your shot off if you're tired. And Hall of Fame handles for days helps a ton with that so you don't lose as much stamina when you're dribbling into your shots. Obviously, you don't need to dribble the air out of the ball or anything. But having that just can help you out a ton. This is an honorable mention of steel. A PG doesn't need to have steel, but it does definitely help. And on a 6-4, it's pretty difficult to get any sort of defense on the build if you want to get everything else on offense. But if you're able to get steel, it definitely helps out. And then I have free throw and steady dunk just kind of there, just to, just to kind of give you guys a little tip. And of course, I'd say never lower than 75 pass accuracy. But for a PG, I recommend probably at least an 80. And those are just kind of optional. Obviously, the top five are three-point shot, ball handle, speed with ball. Speed Excel and Stamina in mb 2 k 24 in my opinion. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Be sure to like and comment down below what you think the top 5 attributes are for point guard. I'm the best height as well. And be sure to subscribe also. Thanks for watching.